A disheartened boy walked with his head bowed down towards his house from his school. He didn't want his parents to see how sad he was, but they could see that their seven-year-old was upset and pleaded with him to tell them what had happened. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Surrendering, the boy reluctantly got a piece of paper out from his school bag. He handed it to his parents, and it would hold all the answers they were looking for. Camden Pyland was always just a normal kid. He never strived to get amazing grades, but he would stay out of trouble nonetheless. He wasn't hyperactive, and he didn't spend all his time watching TV and playing video games. His parents were caught off guard when he came home devastated. They read the note that he had given them, and his father stirred with the frown. As he kept reading the test papers, his face became more flushed with anger. Camden was a student at Valley View Elementary School for a number of years. There had never been any issues with him at the school, but things changed when he walked into the school as a second grader. Now his parents were getting more and more complaints about their son's behavior. Chris decided that he had heard enough and decided to look into his son's complaints. There aren't any elementary school children who like doing their homework, especially when they could be seeing friends or playing games once the bell to indicate the end of the school day had rung. Camden was no exception and his parents understood it was part of being a kid. But Camden started handing his school assignments late. This drastic behavior change only started in the second grade. His parents hated seeing their child struggle so suddenly with his academics. What changed Camden's attitude towards the school? Chris was sure that his child could take on the second grade and all its challenges, and the fact that he wasn't made him start to worry. It was normal for Camden's performance to plummet so drastically in his academic life. His teacher was Alicia Rupp Bonick, and one day, he arrived home with some feedback from her. That's when Chris thought that she might have a part to play in Camden's newfound difficulties. The father's intuition would prove useful. Everyone had that teacher that seems impossible to impress. Some kids keep their head down and somehow slip through. Some stick out, especially if they are kinder and indecisive. This is the teacher that Alicia was. At the school, Alicia already gained a reputation and seemingly picked on Camden before anyone else. The boy's joy started to wane as the constant criticism impacted his self-esteem. He didn't even let anyone know that it had such a huge impact. All parents dream of their children doing well at school, but when they catch wind that their child is the opposite and only in the second grade, it's hard for them to swallow. Parents can get involved to help their children, like after school to woodering and having more watchful eye on their child when it's homework time. But one thing stands out as outdated and it never works, tough love. It's not just children that hate pointless negative feedback. Everyone would prefer a more constructive approach to criticism so they can understand how they can improve and not repeat the mistake. Confidence and self-esteem are the most effective when someone is given criticism. So when a teacher gives such a negative feedback to a child, you can imagine the potentially damaging effects. Being a teacher for young children versus older children has completely different approaches. You need to be more involved in the younger child's education when you teach to help them understand the concepts. Being a good mentor reflects on the children as well since you are a role model. Chris felt like Alicia wasn't practicing this way of teaching when she was in the classroom with his child. How could she think her comments were actually helping? Chris can't be blamed for his anger and frustration towards the teacher. The comments on his child's paper were just discouraging. They didn't only affect his confidence, but they were also unprofessional. No parent wants to see their child hurt. The comment on the maths test was absolutely pathetic. He answered 13 in 3 minutes. Sad. Now this made Chris angry. He was bullying and there was nothing constructive about these comments, not even in the slightest. The problem was that this comment was not the first that this teacher had left Camden, and it was the straw that broke the camel's back. For Chris, it was the last straw, and he intended to do something about it. He took insult from how the message were right from the beginning of the year. It was time to confront this nasty teacher. It's the go-to action that a lot of people take, posting a worry or thought on social media. A lot of the time is because when we get so close to the issues that we can't see them clearly anymore. Chris wanted an opinion on his situation. What he was expecting was to have such a large impact. Chris began by stating the facts along with a picture of his son holding up the offending test paper. He was sure that everyone would agree with him. 
Chris was absolutely amazed at how the post took on a life of its own, raking up thousands of reactions, comments, and shares. It seemed that a lot of people felt really passionately about what happens in the classroom, how children are treated, and what skills teachers should have. He felt significantly better that his gut instinct was right and he hadn't been overreacting at all. Almost everyone disapproved of the harsh words that the teacher left on the piece of paper. Teaching is not known for being an easy job. It's far more challenging than standing in front of a class and talking. Every child learns differently and it is the responsibility of the teacher to find out how each child learns so that they can succeed in school and later on in life too. Leaving harsh comments seemed to Chris like this teacher wasn't teaching his son how to learn. She was taking the easy way out and putting the blame on his son. No one likes to work in a negative environment. Take yourself for instance. If your boss was constantly on your case no matter how hard you work, you would very soon lose your passion for your job and quit. But Camden still has so many fundamental things to learn, new abilities, skills, and tasks to take with him in the future. Quitting wasn't an option. This teacher had to understand that learning is the most effective when it's carried out in a creative yet inspiring way. Chris was glad that he was getting so much validation from his little Facebook post. But things took a turn for the worse. He couldn't believe it, but all the strangers that had rallied behind him had started a kind of movement of their own. Someone had even taken it so far that there is now a petition online calling for the sacking of Alicia. It was great that people felt so strong and Chris was sure this was something that he wanted to go ahead with. The situation became serious now. Miss Alicia could lose her job because of a mean comment. She needed to protect herself against the angry group of people on social media that kept on growing. Chris was still so angry over the whole incident that he didn't want her to get fired. After all, getting a new teacher for his son seemed like a great idea. Amazingly, the petition was tallying up an unusually high numbers of signatures. Already over 10,000 people wanted the teacher sacked with very little information of her side of the story. But teachers at her school took a stance on Miss Alicia's behalf, saying she did not deserve to be fired at all. Even though little Camden went on to say, she made me really sad and upset. I was really mad and it was really meant to do. You didn't write that on anybody's paper, let alone a little seven-year-old second grader's paper. It said on top of it that he answered only 13 of them in three minutes, and that was absolutely pathetic with a sad face. It broke my heart, Chris said as he spoke to more and more papers and TV stations. He was still absolutely furious about the whole ordeal. I believe what you wrote on his paper was extremely unprofessional and just very rude, and she messaged me back and she said she was sorry I felt that way, he explained. Everyone agreed that the teacher indeed had done something wrong, but should she be fired for it? It seemed a very harsh punishment for something that a firm talking could change. The school felt like she only had to be reprimanded for what she had done. They thought that it was too much to fire her for this. Teachers, parents and other adults are those who mold these little kids into what they are going to be in the future. The school decides to look further into the matter and make sure justice is served. Chris posted an update and said, Thanks to all the efforts and support of the dedicated people who signed and shared this petition. I'm happy to announce that the teacher in question is currently being investigated by the Valley View School Board. According to a news outlet, school superintendent Ross Manetti has become aware of the remarks written on the assignment. After having a meeting with the Valley View School District and the teacher, an investigation had begun. But would Chris get justice? As a response to the media, Manetti said, As always with everything, we're going to try to do what's best for the student and what we need to do for the employee under investigation. Speaking to the same news outlet, she said, It's a personal issue and the result of that are not going to be dictated by social media. It's going to be dictated by the facts and evidence. Hopefully, something will come out of the investigation. Although the inquiry was underway, people from all over the world continued to respond to the story on social media and the petitions garnered over 20,000 signatures. But some people weren't on Chris's side. Instead, they decided to place the blame on Camden's teacher's behavior solely on Chris. Some people felt that it was necessary to reprimand the dad and said that he should spend less time on Facebook and more time helping his son with his homework. Furthermore, they had the audacity to argue that the incident would have happened to all if Chris had taken more of an interest in his son's curriculum. Then, a new detail about the teacher emerged. The people who were following the story closely had learned that Miss Alicia had in fact been pregnant for the last few months. 
It came as a surprise to many that she would be having a baby of her own soon and this opened up another can of worms on Facebook. Netizens were left divided. Some Facebook users were empathetic to the teacher's situation, pointing out that the pregnancy hormones could easily be to blame for her behavior. It was a loss on other parents that this could have caused her to become more impatient and short-tempered than usual. However, the story brought another question into the spotlight. What would she have done if she found herself in Chris's situation now that she had more of an insight into the life of a parent? Would Miss Alicia just let it go or would she make a point as well? And as a teacher, she also should know that the best way to get out of her students is to inspire them and teachers have to be inspired as well. If a teacher feels dispirited or has to deal with a personal issue, they might bring their personal problems into the classroom. An inspired teacher will be more upbeat and positive, which encourages more interaction from the students and fosters better results. Perhaps that is the true issue of the story. It is important to ensure that teachers are also in the right state of mind since they often have such a huge impact on the development of the children and other learners. People's interaction online were mostly negative towards the teacher. As you'd expect, people had more than enough to say on the matter and went on to voice their opinions on the post as well as the petition. A teacher bullied a second grader, said Pickwell resident Beth O'Brien. I think they should be fired. Chris explained that by raising awareness about the incident, he was looking out for his kids. It's something that shouldn't happen and shouldn't be tolerated at all, he said. On top of filling a complaint, Chris was having Camden move to a new class. Maybe it'll be taken seriously now and it'll keep from happening to other teachers and other students, Chris said.